This is episode two of Galaxy Management for our TV show. Uh, episode two, Mr. Mosby calls a meeting with his employees uh, using the intercom. Mr. Mosby, thank you all for coming on time and ready to hear what I have to say. Over the past several years, I've both ran this hotel and seen all of you grow from fledgling employees into the great and well-educated individuals you are now. I believe that for some of you, it'll be hard to imagine the Tipton Hotel without me being here, keeping everything running smoothly, in the wake of the many different troubles uh, the twins have brought to our door. Mr. Tipton himself has asked that I leave the Tipton Hotel indefinitely to become the manager of a new cruise liner about to set sail. Although it pains me to leave, I feel confident that one of you will successfully replace me as the manager of the Tipton. I have seen all of your abilities up close, and I am confident that all the skills required to manage this hotel are in this room right now. Maddie, I can't believe what I'm hearing. I think I have great time management skills, great interpersonal skills with the customers who come to my shop, but right now I'm just the candy counter girl. Becoming the manager would be a huge step up from where I am now. Mr. Mosby. I know being the manager is very different from selling candy, but I'm confident that you have most of what is required to be the manager of the Tipton Hotel. You take your job very seriously, and I believe you have the intelligence and the skills to make the decisions required as manager. Esteban. Mr. Mosby, I've only just now become the assistant manager. Is that enough to warrant me becoming the manager of the whole hotel? Mr. Mosby. Well, Esteban... Your title means very little in the decision of what your role in this hotel will be. As a bellboy for several years, you've seen the ins and outs of this hotel just as well as I have. You know how to communicate with others, and you've rarely, if ever, let me down. You're fast, you're efficient, you're well respected by everyone else here, and you get your work done. That's why you're the assistant manager now, and you're up for consideration of becoming manager. I see room for growth and learning when I look at you. Carrie. Mr. Mosby, I appreciate you considering me, I really do, but do I have what it takes to be the manager? I'm already busy enough being a mother, an entertainer, and managing my two boys. Mr. Mosby, that's precisely why I believe you could have it what it takes. Although your boys are rambunctious, being able to raise them on a daily basis proves you have the authority, decision-making skills, and multitasking skills required to be in charge. Austin, I mean Arvin. Well, Mr. Mosby, I want to be honored, it would be honored to be the new manager of the Tipton. Apart from fixing and repairing like I already do, I could manage the Tipton so well we wouldn't need repairs in the first place. Mr. Mosby, I would hope so, Arwen. I've seen you rebuild our hotel a hundred times over, and because of that, you know just as much of the ins and out of our hotel structure. When we talk later, I hope to see your interpersonal skills up at close. Mr. Mosby to everyone. Although I've seen all of you work on a daily basis, I want to see if you have what it really takes to be the manager of this business. I'll be conducting interviews with you later and setting up some mock scenarios to see how you deal with them. My job is tough as manager. I have to exercise authority upon my staff, undertake the responsibility of keeping the business float, and have the decision-making skills to deal with everything, including twins. I look forward to seeing all of you later.